Hey everybody, it is Jessica Gordon and I am excited to share this video all about productivity as a working mom. So you are probably just like me and we're responsible for everything. We literally take care of everything. And so in the process of doing everything and taking care of everyone, sometimes we just need some tips and tricks to help us make things happen, okay? And I know you're doing an amazing job because that's what moms do, all right? So let's start off. I have five tips for you today that I'm going to share that help make my life a little bit easier. Number one, keep your cup full. Yes, that is number one. That is how you become more productive, keeping your cup full. I'm not talking about filling your cup, doing something one day out of the month, and then you pour into everyone else, and then your cup is empty, and it's the end of the month, and now you need to do that same thing. Not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about keeping your cup full the entire month by doing small things and self-care that speak to your heart and fill you up. For some people, we know that those things look different. For me, it's taking a bowl bath. For me, it is exercising. For me, it is scheduling my therapy appointments. Uh, for me, it is almond, chocolate, coconut ice cream from Brewster's. If you do not have a Brewster's in your city, I am sorry. But that is number one on my list, which is taking care of myself and just making sure that my cup is full all times, which is hard to manage because of course things happen. It does get challenging, right? Where I'm a caregiver on top of being a mom of three boys. Uh, you also, I have a two-year-old, a four-year-old, as well as a 12-year-old. And I'm a bonus mom to my 12-year-old. So there are other dynamics and layers. So I want you to know that I truly understand. And it's a lot, but I make time for myself. When I exercise, I am a better mother. <laughs> I get off, I have a color time bike. I'm not encouraging you to go buy one because they're expensive but if you have it in your budget and you know that going to the gym is a challenge for you with me it was a challenge during the pandemic i didn't gyms were closed so i chose to buy a peloton during the pandemic right and now i absolutely love it i'm not a stand where i am constantly you know like checking in on people or following the instructors but you all exercise keeps my cup full it feels good for me to exercise. I am a better wife. I am a better mother when I exercise. And when I don't, I can feel it. So I'm sharing step number one as keeping your cup full. That's your self-care. That's your time. And remember, it's not about doing one thing a month where you get all full and you go get a massage and you're full and then you don't do anything else. That is not it, okay? Step one, keep your cup full and then you give everybody else that extra that's overflowing out of your cup. All right, step two. Step two is to plan your week. Plan your calendar. Uh, I work, so I'm just giving you examples of real life things that I have to do for myself. So you all, I work as a program manager for an education company. I am a two state real estate agent. So I cover North Carolina and South Carolina. Again, you already know I'm a mom. I'm also a wife and you know, husbands want things. And I'm also a caregiver for my mom. My mom has a serious mental illness. I have to literally plan my week. There are weeks where I know that I have to do certain things for my job, the education consulting. There are weeks where I know my clients are gonna have inspections with real estate. I know that I have clients that are gonna to wanna to be looking at things. I know that my boys are playing soccer. I know that our oldest is playing baseball. Plan your week. So I started this when I was a teacher where on Sunday nights, I would look at my calendar for the week and figure out what things needed to be done. Um, I'm not perfect at this, but I do know a few moms that know how to do this. I try to do it. I'm not great, but planning out your meals for the week as well. Like have on your calendar Sunday night, you know everything that you have to do for the week. You know where everyone needs to go because if hiccups happen, because we know they do, you'll already be prepared. You, you will be, you'll feel a little bit more confident because you know everything that needs to happen. And when I say plan your week, if you need to ask a family member, a cousin, a your husband, your sister, whomever, for help that week because you already can tell that things are gonna be hectic, 
You're feeling more prepared. You're feeling more confident. You are in a better space. Plan your week. Baby, I live by a calendar. Do you hear what I say? I wanted to show you my 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 planner and what I use. And so I use Happy Planner. Uh, but that's just my choice because it was purple, of course. But I love my Happy Planner. I am constantly writing in it. I write my goals. I write my gratitude. I schedule things out. So this is the month of August. As you can see, um, I got my my hair appointment, my kids' hair appointment. I got walkthroughs for my clients. I have my sorority regional conference happening. So you all, I have my flights. I have the days of daycares closed. Plan out your week, okay? Plan your week. Get a calendar. It doesn't have to be happy planner. It doesn't matter what type of planner it is. Plan out your week. One more thing to add to that, because my husband doesn't see this planner, I also have another calendar in our kitchen that I could show you, but letting him see what things are coming up. If we have vacation, that's really important for him to know with his work schedule, um, you know, certain first days of school, or just certain things that you know your husband needs to be engaged in or anyone in your family. Also keep a calendar somewhere in a family space. So that was step two. Step three is to multitask. I am creating this content, creating this video, talking to you right now while I'm washing a load of clothes. I have the dishwasher running, like multitask y'all, like find opportunities. So got to give you examples from my life, right? I, we are a family of five. Currently I do the laundry for everyone in the house. Now I make the 12 year old put his own clothes up but I put up the clothes for the other four of us. That is taxing on me, okay? So I have to multitask. And I also, what kind of prompted this video is I had posted on Twitter that I have to wash clothes almost every day, like a load almost every day. And the reason for that is because it helps me be better. When those clothes get really piled up, you all, I feel overwhelmed. I feel chaotic. I feel stressed. Like, oh my God, I got to put up the clothes, but I don't have time because I have this five loads that I just tried to do in one Sunday to start the week. No, baby. Multitask. And one other tip, wash as many clothes throughout the week so that you are not feeling overwhelmed and that your weekend is not, if that's your thing and you enjoy it, cool, do it on the weekend. Me, baby, I'm sleeping in, okay? Saturday morning, I remember having to clean up and play all that music and do all the things because my grandmother said so. Baby, this is my house. <laughs> and I wanna chill on my Saturday morning. Now I will get up at 10 and make some pancakes, but I don't want it to be consumed. I don't want my weekend consumed with laundry. So for me, I like to multitask. If I'm doing something that is engaged with my business or my work and I know I can do it from home, I'm gonna do something small to take care of things around the house, okay? Step four, hire help, okay? And I'm saying this to you because it was very difficult for me to do. I was in this space like, oh my God, what would my grandmother think if I hire somebody to clean my house? Oh. Listen, and even my husband tried to make me feel guilty about it, but you all, I, you are watching this video and listening to me. And if you are one of those people like myself that grew up in a traditional home where the, mo where the mother wife does everything, I am here to let you know if you have the means, the financial means to pay someone to clean your home, please go hire someone today. Please, it helps me greatly. Um, dealing with three boys and another man in the house, and it's just me, I don't understand why they have to stand up and pee. I'm almost to the point where I'm about to teach the two-year-old, you gonna sit down, but daddy doesn't like that, so don't let him hear this video. But I have hired, I have someone that comes in the home every two weeks to clean the house. And honestly, when I start working smarter, I'm gonna have somebody in here every week. I sure am. I, that is because it helps me manage my time, be going back to step one keeping my cup full to where i'm not running racing feeling chaotic feeling stressed because i didn't get something done nope not doing it so hire help outsource 
Um, I know a few ladies that outsource their laundry. I'm not there yet, but trust me, I will be there. And if you're in that space, outsource help. Go get, there are services that will pick up your laundry and bring it back folded. If that works for your family and your dynamic and you can afford it, do it. Along with hiring help, if you can't afford it, because we're all in different financial situations, ask for help. Um, my husband grew up in a traditional home. His stepdad is Muslim. And so women often do the things, right? And in our relationship, I had to be comfortable with saying, baby, I need help. Baby, will you help me? Please help me with this. Whatever it is that you need help with. And it's all in the way that you say it. If you feel like you're nagging, don't feel like you're nagging. Just talk about why you need the help. And if he's resistant, make some more money and hire some help. <laughs> um, but put those children to work too, depending on the ages of your children. My two-year-old, he knows where his underwear go. He knows where his socks go. Uh, we play matching game where we're matching our socks. Um, there are just so many opportunities for you to get your family engaged and asking for help and or hiring someone. Step five. The last thing that I would say to you about just being more productive in your life is give yourself grace, all right? Um, if you're gonna feel uncomfortable and the dishes aren't clean before you go to bed, yes, wash them. Because if that's gonna drive you crazy, wash them. But if it doesn't bother you, baby, leave those dishes in the sink and go your butt to bed and wash them in the morning when you feel better or when you feel at, like you have more time, okay? Whatever it is that you need to do for you, do that give yourself grace there's no way for you to do it all you are one person you are not an octopus you cannot you don't have eight arms and eight legs to do everything and be everywhere it is okay to give yourself some grace well i hope that you subscribe to my videos i am definitely trying to grow my channel i love everything about being a wife and being a mother uh it definitely comes with its things okay but uh drop in the comments what are some of your productivity tips that really help you out around the house or just share a heart and say Jessica I can relate and I'm gonna do this differently from here on out love and light to each one of you you got this